Investors, it has been a turbulent 2022 thus far. The S&P 500 index had its worst April in more than 40 years. The NASDAQ entered a bear market on April 26th with its more than 20% decline and bonds, which typically provide a ballast for diversified portfolios during periods of stock market volatility, have not protected investors. Markets face a number of threats. The COVID-19 pandemic has contributed to a disappointing start to the year. For the U.S. economy, which has been evidenced by the negative 1.4% growth in gross domestic product reported on April 28th. COVID-19 continues to disrupt global supply chains amid intermittent lockdowns in some of China's largest cities. Russia's devastating assault on Ukraine, arguably the biggest geopolitical threat in Europe since World War II, has added to the worst inflation problem in the U.S since the 1970s. The bond market is now pricing in nine more Federal Reserve rate hikes after looking for only three when the year began. That's a lot for investors to digest. But during a market correction, it's easy to forget that this volatility is actually quite normal. So let's turn to the historical data for reference. The S&P 500 index has fallen 14% peak to trough this year. The average drawdown of all years. During midterm election years, the average stock market correction is 17%. But stocks rebounded 32% on average following those midterm year lows over the next one year. Of the last 21 times, the S&P 500 has been down double digits since 1980. Stocks rallied back to the end of the year positive 12 times, with the average gain a stellar of 17%. We concede a double digit gain in 2022 is unlikely. But a U.S. consumer willing and able to spend, which makes recession unlikely in the near term, and steadily rising corporate profits still make a positive year for stocks in 2022 more likely than not in our view. Inflation remains a big concern, but a number of factors could put downward pressure on prices beginning this summer. On the supply side, where most of the problems lie, supply chain normalization and more job seekers coming off of the sidelines could help ease pressure on goods, prices, and wages. An eventual ceasefire in Ukraine could remove some of the upward pressure on commodity prices. And on the demand side, higher interest rates could help cool the housing market. I feel like I say this every day, that the bond market is already doing some of the work for the Fed, with the 10-year Treasury yield now double over the last four months up to 2.9%. These factors could easily cut headline consumer inflation in half by year-end from the current annual pace of 8.5%. The outlook for corporate profits remains positive and may help prevent stocks from pulling back much further. Coming into this week, with about 180 of the S&P 500 companies having reported, double-digit earnings growth appears within reach, while analyst estimates for 2022 have continued to rise. These numbers are excellent considering slow economic growth, supply chain disruptions, and inflationary pressures. The investing climate is quite challenging, but history suggests patience will be rewarded. Investors, there may be some downside and continued volatility in the short term. Nevertheless, consumer and business fundamentals remain supportive. Strong profits and lower stock prices mean more attractive valuations. Our belief is that the current levels, 
will end up being an attractive entry point over the intermediate to long term. Stay safe. Stay the course. Also, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that make it happen day in and day out. I know how lucky my kids are and how grateful I am for my wife and my mom. Please contact me if you have any questions.